So what is a firewall? Firewalls can be viewed as gated borders or gateways that manage the travel of allowed and prohibited web activity in a private network. Hence by comparison, network security firewalls are for web management, typically intended to slow the spread of web threats. The term comes from the concept of physical walls being built to slow the spread of fire until emergency services can extinguish it. A firewall is especially important to a large organization that has a lot of computers and servers in them because you don't want all those devices accessible to everyone on the internet where a hacker can come in and totally disrupt that organization. So that's why you need a firewall to protect them. So how do firewalls work? Now a firewall decides which network is allowed to pass through and which traffic is unsafe. Essentially, it works by filtering out the good from the bad or the trusted from the untrusted. Firewalls are intended to secure private networks and the endpoint devices within them known as network hosts. Network hosts are devices that talk with each other and the other hosts on the network. They send and receive between internal networks as well as outbound and inbound between external networks. So in today's high-tech world, a firewall is essential to every home and especially in a business or an organization to keep their network safe. Now a firewall works by filtering the incoming traffic data and determines by its rules if it's allowed to enter a network. And these rules are known as an access control list. These rules are customizable and are determined by network administrator. The network administrator then decides not only what can enter a network, but also what can leave a network. So these rules either allows or denies permission. So as an example, here we have some rules in firewalls access control list and it shows a list of IP addresses that have been allowed or denied by this firewall. As you can see, traffic from some IP addresses are allowed to enter the network, but traffic from one IP address has been denied. So if the traffic from this IP address try to get into this network, the firewall will automatically deny it because of the rules that have been set in the firewall. But the other IP addresses are granted access because the rule allows them. Now firewalls just don't make rules based on IP addresses, but they can also make rules based on domain name protocols, programs, pods, keywords, and even traffic volume. This is also called an ingress or egress. Ingress meaning inbound and egress meaning outbound traffic. So let's say in this example, the firewall rules are controlling access by port numbers. And let's say that the firewall rules have allowed incoming traffic that's using port number 80, 53, and 22. And the data using these ports have been given access to the network. So any incoming data that's using these ports can pass through the firewall. But also in this firewall, the rules have denied any traffic that's using port numbers 23 and 3389. So any incoming data that's using these port numbers, the firewall will deny access and it won't get past the firewall. So in a nutshell, this is how firewall basically work. Now firewalls are typically used to gate the borders of a private network or its host devices. These barriers are typically set up in two locations, on dedicated computers on the network or the user's computer and other endpoint themselves. Dedicated computer on the networks are also called network firewalls and it involves the application of one or more firewalls between external networks and internal private networks. These regulate inbound and outbound network traffic separating external public traffics like the global internet from internal networks. 
Network firewalls are dedicated firewall appliances and are strategically placed, which are usually very fast. Whereas a host firewalls or host-based firewall involve the use of firewalls on individual user devices and comes pre-built with most operating systems. Host firewalls may run on local devices as an operating system, service, or an endpoint security application. Host firewalls can also dive deeper into web traffic do filtering based on HTTP and other networking protocols, allowing the management of what content arrives in your network rather than just where it comes from. Essentially, they are placed to protect machines locally in case network firewalls allows malicious payloads. Now, a lot of organizations will use both network-based and host-based firewalls. They will use network-based firewalls to protect the entire network as a whole and they will also use host-based firewalls for their individual protection for their computers and servers. And by doing this, it will ensure maximum protection because if harmful data just so happens to get past the network firewall, the host-based firewall in each computer will be there to stop it. I've made a dedicated video on the different types of firewalls. Do check that video out and feel free to explore more. So thank you everyone for watching this video on firewalls. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.